You know, I'd, I'd ask everybody uh, about, um, you know, Idea House's 20 years. Congratulations on your 20 years, by the way. Bill Early and Bill Often. Just stay the course, man, what you're doing. It's working for you and it, uh, yeah, you've been successful with us, so I think you'll, you'll definitely continue on that trend. I have a, a tremendous uh, admiration for anyone who's been able to stay in the creative arts and, and make a living. Um, and make a living over a period of time because that is not an easy thing to do and, and we have all seen many people fall away uh, from that and not succeed. Um, you know, uh, sometimes we have awful years and sometimes we have great years and it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a ride. I think you're in a great place. I, I think being in Pittsburgh right now, this is one of the best places in America you can be to be in the kind of business you are because, especially for any kind of creative agency. I think if you stick to the principle of creating the right environment, doing what you say you're going to do, and always looking at things from the user point of view, you'll be okay in the end. You've always struck me as being a very curious individual and I think that you know, my advice would be, I don't think you're ever going to lose it, but, you know, try not to uh, get beaten down or, or lose it. But if you survive 20 years, Kevin, I mean, you're not going to have that happen. So um, uh, my advice is to you keep doing what you've been doing. Want to wish you a happy 20th. You know, it's come a long way. The business has built its way and kind of evolved over time. Uh, great to see you running after 20 years. Hope to be uh, around for the 40th. I will relay uh, one experience that I remember at one time I was moving one of my studios and, and I sat down with you, Kevin, and said, hey man, if you can think of something, how do, we, how do we let people know that I've moved? How do we do this in a unique way? And, um, and I don't know if you remember this, but we were sitting at your desk and, uh, in the south side and, and you said, I, what if we parachute a guy with like this banner spelling out Market Street Sound right into halftime in the middle of a Steeler game. And I'm looking at you like, well, you know, that's cool, but you know, uh, what? And, and immediately you got on the phone with your lawyer and say, what is the penalty? What problems could we, you know, is this, what, what would, you know, would we get a, you know, you were, I mean, just off on this, you know, and, uh, you know, and I'm looking at you like, what in the world are you doing? Um, I'm thinking about a postcard, you know? Um, uh, but then I watched you, uh, you know, after you opened your mind, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a very broad way, you reeled it back in. Um, and I saw the exercise in that and the validity of that, that kind of thinking, and I thought, well, that's a creative guy. I really do believe that business, the idea of business, is that basically it's a very, very simple contract, you know, uh, and that it, you want to keep it very, very simple. People have a tendency to make it complex. And in the end, you just need more money coming in than goes out, <laughs> no, no matter what you do. That's the plan. So I wish you well. I don't know, you're, you're, you're idea house. You know, you're the ones that's supposed to be giving me ideas, right? Um, <laughs> dude, I, I Sincerely, I'm not sure I have any advice. Yeah, I'd say, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. You obviously you know how to think on your feet and, you know, stay ahead of the curve and, uh, you know, and always do great work. So, I mean, I just say keep doing what you're doing. Look at us. Yay. Look at you. <laughs> look at me. I'm very proud of Kevin. Good job, Kevin, really. I mean, you've, now what I love about this is that you found your niche. You found your way. You never kind of gave up. You always found a way of, of making, you know, we, we always say, you got to find a way to make a living because, you know, the family, they get a little crazy on us. Why? You're doing what? You know, this, what we do for a living, that's what people always say to us. You're, you're, you're what? You're not a doctor or a lawyer, you're doing PR. What, what does that mean? And you found a way to keep it going. I think it's very cool. I think it's very cool. So, oh, cool. so happy anniversary to you, my friend. You don't look a day over 19, <laughs> okay? You know, the one thing that I tell young designers who, who all want to start their own businesses, I mean, every young kid in a design program today is is becoming your competitor tomorrow. I mean, they all want to be in business. And the, the one thing that I tell them more than anything else that is the most important is honesty, integrity, and communication with clients. Oh, I so always love uh, crossing paths with you because you are just so full of energy and you are always right on the edge of what is going on. And I've very much appreciated that. And, you know, I hope that you continue doing that same thing. That's why you're, you're doing this kind of thing. You, you make bridges, you, you know, communicate well with people, and um, you're always pushing yourself as well as the company, and I hope you continue to do that. 
Well, you're, you're a breakthrough guy who is, uh, who is at the forefront of this new media, okay? And that's a big deal because there's a whole lot of people like myself that will retire and, and the new media means something to me, but it doesn't mean as much as it means to my son and daughter and the younger kids. And being able to communicate with them, I think, is a pretty big deal. And if you can master that, I think every, uh, every client wants to um, have an ad agency that uh, is on top of what, what people want. Our old mantra was, uh, it is our purpose to create, to uh, exploit information and technology for the purpose of developing the most innovative methods of communication. And I, and I think that we'll continue to follow that moving forward. Uh, I think that technology will change, I think the information will change, but what's going to stay the same is that there's, there's good people that are in business that are trying to find good people that are consumers. And uh, it's our job to try and, and bring those, those two together. I don't know if I can give you any advice. I always kind of look at, look at you and say that you're, you blaze your own way, you do your own thing, you keep on top of things. And that would be the advice I would give somebody, um, but you do that already, so I don't know. Kevin, you're, you're a great friend of mine. We go back a long way. The only advice I have for you is don't change a thing, but keep on changing like you always have. Oh, just keep an open mind, fasten your seatbelt, <laughs> and uh, just it's going to be fast. I mean, it, it, it's been the last few years have been fast. It's going to be faster. Well, we did some things together. We did some industrial things. Oh, we stood on top of a building once or watched another building being built when you had the balls to tell me that you were going to be a millionaire in three years. And that was in 1980. How's it going? It's been a really interesting 20 years so far. Um, you know, some years better than others, admittedly. Um, but the relationships that we've been able to develop, um, both professionally and, and personally, um, the things that we've seen change, um, those opportunities are, are, are only growing. So I'm, I'm very optimistic for the next 20. I'm very appreciative for the past 20. And uh, I, hope that, uh, uh, I hope that we have something just as good to say uh, on our 40th as we do to, uh, uh, to our 20th.